in general, you need to modulate immune system constantly, and I think that uh, now uh, really evidence is mounting that uh, even with some uh, most advanced treatments that are changing uh, uh, the uh, uh, whole immune system, you need to repeat it mm -hmm. at some point of time. So yes, these patients are taking daily oral treatment. Now, it's important to say that uh, with the Aubagio, there is really very little side effects uh, to, to the treatment itself. No, I don't think so, uh, uh, but certainly uh, compliance is much higher with one a day pill than two uh, uh, pills a day or, or more. That has been very, very uh, well shown, especially in the uh, uh, epilepsy field where, you know, uh, there are so many oral agents. I think that this story is uh, uh, not fully understood yet uh, because, you know, now we know that Aubagio did this uh, very important uh, effect, had this important effect on a cortical atrophy. We need to understand uh, how is that uh, achieved. So uh, going more into mechanism of action of Aubagio, especially respect to uh, uh, B cell uh, uh, mechanism, because Aubagio works through the T cell and B cell uh, mechanism of action, that will be our specific goal, and uh, in particular looking more also on the antiviral properties of uh, Aubagio. Specifically, I reported even last year at Ectrims uh, that Aubagio can decrease the uh, 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 virus titers of Epstein-Barr virus. And uh, what I didn't mention you, that one of the hypotheses in MS that is that Epstein-Barr virus is probably contributing to this cortical pathology. So we need now to see, you know, which are the pathways through uh, which Aubagio can uh, uh, really alter uh, this B-cell pathology. Is that Epstein-Barr virus or it's something else? We are going in different directions. I presented also on, uh, in, a, in a platform session that uh, uh, one of the few drugs that did not have leptomeningeal inflammation uh, was uh, Aubagio, so we did a study of leptomeningeal enhancement. So these patients with MS having this cortical pathology, they also have inflammation in the meninges. And so probably to be able to uh, uh, image in real time, is there an active inflammation in the cortex Leptomeningeal enhancement will be one of the biomarkers. So it's very interesting and encouraging to see that patients with Aubagio did not have that mm -hmm. enhancement, but almost this was present with all other therapies. So that's one for sure very interesting direction to go in the near future.